Mr. Toe by Roger Hargreaves. Mr. Toe was very, very, very tall, quite the tallest person you've ever met. In fact, quite the tallest person you've never met, because you've never met anybody with legs as long as Mr. Toe's legs, have you? Now, the problem with being as tall as Mr. Toe meant that life was just one long problem, as you can see. Oh dear, he used to sigh. Oh dear me, I do so wish that my legs weren't quite so very, very, very long. He decided to go for a walk to think over his problem. He was just stepping over a tree when he heard a voice, a little voice. Hello! It was Mr. Small standing underneath a daisy. But Mr. Tall was so tall he couldn't see him. So, Mr. Small shouted at the top of his voice, Hello! A Mr. Small shout is about as loud as a bee's sneeze. So, it took quite some time for Mr. Tall to spot him. Oh, he said gloomily, it's you. You don't look very happy, said Mr. Small. What's up? I am, replied Mr. Tall, because of these silly long legs of mine. Oh, said Mr. Small. Mr. Small decided to cheer him up. Let's go for a walk together, he suggested. So they did, which of course didn't work. It was like a giraffe going for a walk with a mouse. Then, Mr. Small had an idea which did work. And because of the length of Mr. Tall's legs, they very quickly walked all the way to the seaside. Come for a swim, cried Mr. Small. Can't, replied Mr. Tall. By the time it gets deep enough for me to swim, I'll be out the other side. So, Mr. Small went for a swim, while Mr. Tall sat down with a face which was nearly as long as his legs. Mr. Tickle came along. Hello, he said. You look as if you need some cheering up. Care for a tickle? No, thanks, replied Mr. Tall. What I would care for are some different legs. Mine are much too long. So were my arms, said Mr. Tickle cheerfully. But it's all the better for tickling. And off he went, chuckling, looking for somebody to tickle. Looking for anybody to tickle. <laughs> Mr. Nosey came along. Cheer up, he said. You look very down in the mouth. What's the problem? It's my legs, replied Mr. Tall. They're too long. So's my ears replied Mr. Nosey, laughing. It's all the better for walking into other people's business. And he went off looking for something to be nosy about. Looking for anything to be nosy about. Mr. Greedy came alone. Hello, he cried. You look gloomy. What's wrong? It's my legs, explained Mr. Toe. They're too big. So is my tummy, replied Mr. Greedy. But all the better for filling with food. And up he went, licking his lips. Mr. Tor sat there and thought about Mr. Tickle's arms and Mr. Nosey's nose and Mr. Greedy's tummy. He smiled and then he grinned and then he laughed out loud. He looked at his legs, those very, very, very long legs of his. All the better for walking. He chuckled and walked home. In four minutes, forty miles. Mr. Small came out of the sea after his short swim. And how am I going to get home? He asked himself. So he set off walking all the way home, forty miles. That was last year. <clears throat> he got home yesterday.